I am so often asked, how sure am I about what's coming? It comes in comments, emails, in interviews, off camera, before or after the show. And the answer depends on what you mean by that and which part. Let's go over that, shall we? And we'll start with the part about which we are most certain. There is a disaster cycle, a geomagnetic excursion cycle, and it's time for it to come again. Not only that, but we're already seeing literally every sign we would expect, not just in the shifting magnetic poles and weakening magnetic field, but in the atmosphere, the other planets, the sun, in people, in culture. Scientific evidence has shown us that it is a 12,000 year major geomagnetic excursion disaster cycle with a mini disaster cycle on the 6,000 year half cycle mark. The red lines here show those major events while the blue lines show the minor ones. The only thing about this that really isn't certain is the exact 6,000 and 12,000 year timeline. But whether that's actually it or 200 years off or 1,000 years off isn't really important. The sediments show an equal amount of time between them, and that same amount of time has elapsed again in the sediment. So whether it's 12,000 and 6,000, 10,000 and 5,000, 14,000 and 7,000, doesn't matter. It has been that same amount of time in the sediment since the last ones. We are due, and we are seeing everything we'd expect to see. Of that, I am as close to certain as can be. Other things are somewhat between best guess, and there's no other way to explain the evidence, and boy, I've tried. From the pole flip and directions of the great waves, to the solar micronova, what triggers it, its connection to ancient stories, how bad it will be, what the timeline and components of the micronova will be, along with the shorter 6,000 and 3,000 year solar super flare cycles. Same goes for the arc discharge, the thunderbolt of the gods that strikes when the nova shell impacts Earth, triggering the unlocking of the crust and perhaps even carving the land. The solar system shift seems pretty rock solid, but I wouldn't say it's as solid as the Earth elements that we can study much more easily. The same goes for the galactic trigger, especially since they have not only identified the galactic current sheet, but they know its thickness, amplitude, and electromagnetic nature. However, we can't say it's as certain. We're talking about something that's obviously much more difficult to study than what we have here on Earth. Alas, while those are all pretty solid in my head, they cannot touch the certainty of the cycle existence in Earth evidence. The fact that it has been the exact time expected since the last ones for us to be due again, and the fact that we're seeing the evidence of it unfolding again now, that takes the top spot in terms of absolute certainty. Another way to see this, those best guess to extreme confidence items are the solar micronova details, with the existence of the micronova in general being of higher confidence and those finer details being a bit lower. The Earth tilt is pretty high confidence as well, since there's really no other way I know of to explain the ancient stories, great waves, the mammoths, etc. The solar system shift, again, pretty darn solid, and I would say the lowest among these is the arc discharge, even though it does make sense from a physics perspective and from the Earth evidence and from the ancient rock art of the plasma discharge, but again, can't be totally sure. When it comes to the highest confidence, and we can never say 100%, but as close as we can really get, it is time. It is already in progress, and it will bring a great shift in climate, great floods, volcanoes, and extinctions. Even if everything else off of this list is wrong, this right here is reason enough to be extremely concerned. This part has literally no counter argument in evidence or in scientific literature. I hope this was informative in some way, and I'll see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.